A group of Fallen has captured Fellwinter Peak. My team and I are en route, but we won't get there in time. I need you to secure the observatory at the top. It is imperative the Fallen do not establish a foothold on that mountain. Well, hello everyone! This is Opticana Show here with another video. Today, we are actually going to cover Radagast, the Iron... One of the Iron Lords. Perhaps the first. But while you think he might be a kind of leader, he's actually the first amongst equals. I'll let the story of, I'll let his tale, his story, and his end explain what I mean. Let us begin. Radagast strode through the ashes. A cloud hung in his wake as he made his way to the top of the rise. Scars marred his armor and his sidearm laid in the dust. He didn't need it now. The battle was over. This had been a mining outpost once. A few buildings and a transport nestled amid a small forest it had been like a precious jewel set atop the dull crown of the wildlands. Now there was almost nothing left. The warrior began to walk slowly down into the valley. He pulled his helm from his head and let it drop with a muted thud into the ash. Of the forest, only stumps remained. Of the small village, there was no trace. The buildings reduced to splinters. Here and there you could see dull, gray signs of inhabitation. At the bottom of the valley, Radagast came to the source of the ash, death, and violence. The light bearers were laid out in a row, simple cloth coloring their armored and robed forms. There were five of them, and they had been lined up beneath the melted girders of the settlement's great hull. These warlords had terrorized this part of the wilds for years. Hundreds had died at their hands. Radagast turned as his companions crossed the valley floor to join him. They had been policing the dead, finding a fitting end for the settlers and miners of the outpost. Yolder came with a steady glide, energy, and fire. Saladin, calm and slow, the weight of, his, the, weight of the dead on his shoulders. In for formation behind them stepped Perun her boots barely leaving a trace as she walked. They gathered before him. Never again, he intoned in words, quietly. The others stood as battle-scarred statues. We ride against despots and warlords. We hide in these enclaves, hoping that other light-bearers will not find us. We fear each other. He shook his head, his fists clenched. And we should not. We are stronger together. We are mighty together. All we have to fear is this. He pointed down at the dead warlords, giving in, allowing the power of the light to blind us to what we truly are. It was Perun, of course, who asked the question. What are we? No judgment, no reproach. Still, Radagast could feel their doubt. He turned upwards and his eyes settled on the massive span supporting the great hull. His eyes shone as he turned back to his fellows. We will be what the people need us to be. We will be guardians. We will be protectors. We will hold the last of us together. His voice rang out across the still valley. Our days of hiding are ended. Say it now, each of you. Who among the other bearers do you trust? Who can be counted on to ride with us? Bredemard, said Yolder. Deatrice, said Perun. I only trust you, Radagast, said Saladin, and their leader scowled in response. What are you saying? What are we? Perun asked again. Radagast smiled. 
We will gather those you trust. We will not wait for this, he gestured around him, to force our hand. We will ride against those that will use the light against our own. Humanity must have protectors, like the knights of old. Around them, the dust swirled in the air. Shafts of sunlight coalesced in long slanted bars as the sun dipped towards the horizon. Are you with me? Will you stand with me as iron lords? And in the waning light, their answers rang like thunder on the air. This is the tale of what started the Iron Lords as a whole. Radagast forged a blade, a symbol of the Iron Banner's unity, and he led them as equals. But in the end, Siva, the very thing they had quested for to rebuild humanity, was what ultimately ended them. Out of the hundreds that entered the plague lines to steal it, nine entered the replication chamber. Yolder, Perun, Scori, Felwinter, Radagast, and so many others fought and tried to control Siva. But in the end, Radagast sacrificed himself, protecting Yolder as she tried to reach the exit of the chamber. Yolder knew that the only way to end Siva's threat was to seal eight of the nine Iron Lords within. And she did so. She sealed the chamber with the Iron Lords still inside, Saladin the only one outside. The explosion meant to stop Siva was ultimately what ended the Iron Lords. And now the guardians of the last safe city on earth to this day must complete what she began in order to free E and give the Iron Lords the rest they deserve and freeing grief from Saladin. We thought we were indestructible. The Lords of Iron. We swore we would do anything to protect the last city. Some of us paid the ultimate price. I am all that remains. Stand with me, Guardian. It is time to avenge my brothers and sisters. Prove yourself worthy, and the Iron Lords will rise again.